some years ago, through medical doubt, I met someone I heard lots about. I never thought our paths would cross. Our meeting left me at a loss. I'd had no contact with this guy. He picked me out. I wonder why. He's very sneaky, he changes disguise. I've made small payments toward his demise, but he moves about with sadistic glee and now he takes revenge on me. He's never redundant nor on the dole, he violates your inner soul. He's sometimes slow and sometimes swift, but the net results is Satan's gift. What can I do now? He's moved in, he's hurting now my next of kin. He's no compassion, no fear, no shame. It's no surprise. Cancer's his name. Worldwide great efforts attack this thing and wondrous improvements this will bring. They'll drain his strength, give him the sack. Once beaten, he'll have no way back. It may be too late for you or me, but we'll fight our corner as best can be, with help from family and friends, with medical treatment and new trends. We'll do our best through smooth and rough to stay real positive, hang in tough. And maybe before our final breath, we may rejoice at cancer's death. I'm Donna, that's a poem by John Kehoe, when a stranger comes to call. I was diagnosed with um, invasive ductal carcinoma. It was a 16 millimeter um, tumor, but I also had um, ductal carcinoma in situ. Lord have mercy, right? So I had the kind that goes through your body and it kind of stays still, basically, is what it boils down to. And it was um, missed a few times on the mammogram. So it's important to know your body. So I appreciate Ron Rodney inviting me over to tell a little story, um, but he also wanted the military side because this is a program for veterans. My military background is I entered the Marine Corps one year after graduating high school. Born and raised in New Jersey, had no idea what I was getting myself into. I went to boot camp with suits and high heels and um, they told me I was going, it was like a conference. So that was what I prepared for. Well, as you can tell, it was not quite that, but it did prove interesting. Um, I made it through boot camp. I spent my first four years in Okinawa, Japan. It was a readjustment time for me. Um, my life was headed in a new direction and it turned out to be a good direction. Um, while there, I received meritorious promotions to corporal and sergeant. I was um, NCO of the month, NCO of the quarter, NCO of the year there on Okinawa. I left Okinawa a licensed minister married um, to a preacher. Life isn't always a bed of roses. We think the road with God is full of roses, but sometimes there are thorns. Anyway, I came back to the States. I spent most of my time um, in this area. I was stationed at Headquarters Marine Corps, which at that time was in Arlington, Virginia. I left there and I went to Andrews Air Force Base. And then I was transferred to Anacostia Naval Station, which is right here in the city, the other side of bowling. Um, after doing eight years in the Marine Corps, because I was divorced, I decided to leave regular active duty and became what was known as a full-time support reservist. That's how I ended up at Anacostia Naval Station. I left there and went up to Pennsylvania, and then I went down to um, Atlanta, Marietta, Georgia, and then my final tour was back here. 
I came back to Headquarters Marine Corps again. This time it's not in Arlington, Virginia. They've moved it to Quantico. So I did my last six years in the Marine Corps in Quantico with the career management team being an advisor to the reserve, the enlisted reserve on how to get promoted, how to improve their chances of being promoted, solving the problems that they had with being educated or um, the Montgomery GI Bill and answering congressional responses for things related to the enlisted um, reserve. So that was my tour in the Marine Corps when I left the Marines. My transition to the civilian world was pretty easy. I became a contractor by choice. I did not try to um, join the government at that time. I um, joined a company called CSC, Computer Sciences Corporation, as a logistics manager. I did three years there, and then I joined a company called um, Pacific Architects and Engineers. I started out there as a logistics manager and went on to be a quality control officer. So it was a great success. I'm currently unemployed. Anyone looking for um, a logistics manager, a quality officer, I'm your gal. See me after this program is over. <laughs> One thing that the Marine Corps did teach me that made um, going through cancer easy is there's no such thing as failure. There's no no. You can do anything with the help of God and the belief and confidence that you are more than a conqueror. I'm gonna um, close with another short poem just because it can, um, it can break you, it can take you places you don't wanna go. It can hit you, hit you and kick you with every, um, with every heavy blow. It can rock you and shock you with its mighty fist. It can stop you and drop you into a dark abyss. It can reset you, then let you drown alone. It can thump you and dump you like a stone. It can strangle you and dangle you over a cliff. It can make the supple buckle and become stiff. It can whirl you and twirl you around its little finger. It can enter right, left, center, and linger. It can take its ace to find a resting place so sweet. It can defeat you and eat you until it, it, re it is replete. It can be spiteful and frightful any time of day. It can harass you, then cast you away. It can make you grumble and keep you humble. It can make you cry and say goodbye, but never really leave you. It can be deleted. It can be defeated. It can, it can.